Hey there, fellow white shavers, Brian here with the White Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. Today, in my video, I'm going to be using Seaforth, which is also spearhead shaving, uh, sea spice lime, and the matching toner. And I have the Rockwell 6S on the R3 plate with a fourth use Astra uh, SP, uh, not SP, an Astra um, Blue, which is the stainless, not the platinum. And we are using the Simpson Trafalgar T3 brush. Got a little uh, lathery there, and we are all lathered up in the bowl. So let's get in and get started. I'm gonna wet the face here. Just wanna say, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're watching this for the first time, please consider subscribing below. If you like the video at all, hit the like button below. All that helps the channel. We're at 391 subscribers, so we are close to 400. So when we get to 400, I will do a 400 subscriber giveaway. So looking forward to getting to that milestone. Those of you that have been around um, and have watched the channel since I started or since early in the game, I really appreciate the continued support. And today, by the way, I'm using a, um, I got a sample of a hair clay um, from my buddy Adam. And uh, if you saw my unboxing, and this is from Sheer, I think it's Sheer Revival, and it's called Northern Lights. It smells really nice. It's got a nice citrus scent to it, not too strong. So I thought with the lime, it would be a good match. So let's get into the soap here. And uh, we'll get to the scent right off the top here. And this is Sea Spice Lime. So it is Tahitian lime, uh, bergamot, sea spray, coriander, pink pepper, and oak moss. And so, um, I'd say the scent strength is about a medium, um, four to five off the soap so far. And um, it smells quite nice. I was, uh, I was a little worried about the spice part um, before I bought this. I had, uh, so I've, so Spearhead started as Spearhead, I guess, and um, ultimately bought the rights to the Seaforth name. And then, so they had their own Seaforth or uh, Spearhead experimental soaps um they had come out with and a couple of those i have a vanilla tonka and i have um actually have the i was kind of trying to smell smell these two side by side so oak moss and sandalwood so this was their old experimental um, well this one wasn't experimental but this they came out with this one uh, but this was their old label um had a little um chemical what do you call it? Drawing <laughs> uh, on there. And um, he had some experimental scents that were limited runs that were quite nice. And I liked the soap base. So I guess I'm digressing or moving away from the scent here. <laughs> but um, I'll get to that in a second. Anyways, um, the Seaforth came out. There was the Heather and the um, Spiced. I had ordered both of them. Um, I just, they just weren't scents for me. Uh, I felt like I used the Heather. It was a Fougere type scent. Um, and it just wasn't up my alley. And the Spiced was way too spicy, way too much cinnamon and anise and those types of um, scent notes in it. And I didn't even use it actually. Um, to me, it smelled like um, Thanksgiving potpourri or something. So, anyways, I was a little um, leery on this because it has the word spice in it as well. And I'd actually contacted John from the Lather Hub channel because he did a little video on it. I think it was even a mail call video and we went back and forth. I was asking about the spice part because I was a little worried. I, I thought, okay, it's lime. I like lime. Um, 
what's the deal with the spice? And he said, it didn't really smell that spicy to him. Um, so definitely didn't have like the anise and um, cinnamon and those types of spice notes to it. Or And those weren't in the scent notes anyways on the label, but still I was just a little put off potentially by the word spice. Um, so I, anyways, after going back and forth with John, um, I went ahead and pulled the trigger. Uh, glad I did. I don't get those type of, when I think spice, that's what I think of. I think of like cinnamon and anise and, um, you know, just, just all spice and, um, bay leaves and, and things like that. Cause I'm not a bay rum fan. Um, and so those are the kind of the, the scent notes that come and get conjured up in my mind when I, when I see spice. So, um, anyways, I don't get it. I don't get those from here for sure. I think where the spice is coming in. So let's get back to the scent now. Um, definitely get the lime, but it is not just a lime scent. Um, it's a very complex scent. It's very nice. Um, there is definitely a lime there, but it's not like a sucker punch of like sour lime in your face. Um, I think, you know, I definitely get the oak moss um, coming through in the base um, in the sea spray, um, the bergamot maybe somewhat in the background. And then I, I'm guessing where the, where the spice is coming from is the coriander and the pink pepper. Although to me, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't really smell spicy. Um, I think the spice just adds to the complexity of the scent. So, um, it's a nice balance in my mind between, you know, the, the bright lime and then kind of the oak moss, pink pepper, um, sea spray scent notes. So I think it's quite nice. Um, it is definitely on, uh, you know, a nice uh, summer type scent, warmer weather scent, which is great. So perfect to come out this time of year. But, um, but yeah, it's not just like a straight lime scent. There is no cooling agent in this one. I almost forgot where I was here. I'd be very interested to get to the dry down after the toner. I know I watched um, Ken Shave 326's video on this last night. He was saying that off the tub, he wasn't actually all that excited about it. Um, but he also ended up getting the EDT and he said once he wore the EDT and got the dry down, he really got the appreciation for the scent. So, but I think the soap smells nice. Um, it's nice and, and, and light. The lime adds, I think oak moss can be a little heavy sometimes. So I think the, the lime kind of livens that up a little bit and makes it a lot more fresh. And I'm not sure, I think this might have been, the scent might've been created in collaboration. I know the other two, the Heather and the Spiced were with Sean at Chatelon Lux. I think this might've been as well. And um, so the soap itself, um, this is what the soap looks like. It's a bit of a harder soap. Um, it is not like a one of those that are like cropey kind of almost like a milk steak or um, a Kaizen. It's definitely a firmer soap, um, although that did not prevent me from uh, loading it up just fine in my bowl. And now I'm trying to think, I guess I'm on the third pass. Am I on the third pass already? Um, so it's spread around the bowl fine. Uh, the lather is very nice. I always liked his spearhead soap. 
before when I tried the experimental and then the other, the vanilla tonka and uh, the sandalwood oak moss one. So it's definitely got a nice slickness to it. Um, it's nice and creamy. Lathered up really easily in the bowl. I had no problem with that. So from a soap uh, quality standpoint, I think it's a very nice soap. I don't know if this was, you know, I didn't really know about Seaforth. And like I said, I watched Ken's video and he kind of had some similar thoughts and comments on this whole Seaforth thing. Um, so I don't know if this was a scent that Seaforth came out with at one point. I was not aware of Seaforth until um, Spearhead kind of came out with the Heather and the Spiced and kind of did that whole history on Seaforth in conjunction with that release. So, um, so I had never smelled any of the original scents. I have no idea how they, compa how they compare. And I don't know if, if this was something that Seaforth actually came out with, or this is something that they created and put it under the Seaforth name. Um, I guess it kind of can be a little confusing. I'm with Ken on this. It's spearhead shaving, but then it's Seaforth. I, I mean, I think it's a cool, really cool label, really cool design. Um, you know, it kind of has that classic look to it, but in a modern twist. So look at this area. I don't usually go with the fool's path, typical fool's pass against the grain in, in this area. So I just kind of pull the skin a little bit, try to get a little bit closer in here. That seems to work well for me. The Rockwell 6S is a fantastic razor. I've used it many times in the channel. And then this third pass on my neck is just kind of a cleanup pass. Got some hairs that grow in some odd directions. I hope I was on my third pass. Man, I got talking there and totally lost track of where I was at. But based on the time, like the time on the video thing, and I think I should have been in the third pass by then. If not, then I went straight from the first to the third. Um, anyways, uh, so I don't know what the, their plan is going forward. Obviously, they have the three cents now. Um, under the spearhead, uh, I mean, excuse me, under the Seaforth um, kind of name. So whether they're going to just continue to come out with scents um, as Seaforth and just make up their own new scents, or whether they're going to go back to, you know, something like this, which is just spearhead and have the two different ones. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with them going forward. But I think it can be a little confusing because there's no, like if you Google it and you Google the Seaforth, their website's still under spearhead shaving. So if you, if you're, I got this through the razor company actually, and I think some, several other online retailers have it. But if you go, if you want to buy it directly from them, you actually have to go to the spearhead website, which is where they're at, not the Seaforth website. So, um, you know, I, I can get how having those two names going on can be a little bit confusing. But anyways, let's uh, rinse off and get to the post here. Now I'm really curious if I missed a pass in there. I'm gonna have to go back. I usually don't go back and rewatch these unless I have to edit them for some reason, which usually I don't. Um, but I'm actually curious if I missed the second pass, honestly. Uh, I feel like I did, but I don't know. Um, so, all right, let's try the two. These are cool bottles. I, I like this white um, bottle with the black lid. So I think the bottles that they're using are pretty cool. And this is a toner. So I believe, let me look on here. Um, yes, this is an alcohol-free toner. All right, let's 
there they go. It's a little milky in appearance. All right. I definitely think I'm getting a little bit more of the coriander and the oak moss and a little bit less of the lime in the splash or the toner, excuse me. So I think I'm getting a little bit more of the spiced kind of, you know, coriander is a spice, obviously. So I am getting a little bit more of the, I think the pink pepper, coriander, spicy vibe from the toner. So I'll let this dry um, and we'll see uh, how it works out for me later in the day. But I think it's a nice scent. Um, definitely much more complex than your typical lime scent. So if you're looking for something a little bit different, um, something with a little bit more background, backbone to it, um, and that's not just lime in your face, but you want to get that lime, nice lime scent, this might be up your alley. So thanks for tuning in today, folks, and we'll see you soon on the channel.